And the only other unit that can trigger is probably Spectral Roam. You might be able to do some shit where you convert Havoc Bane stacks to Arrow Erosion, and I guess that would allow you to trigger it as well, but Spectral Roam is going to be the other main character. And so as you can see, that kind of heavily limits the teams that Cheese is going to have available on release that want to make use of this outro skill. But the reality is, is that she's basically meant to be the support, the healer for negative status teams. And it's kind of clear that she's a bit of a replacement, at least premium limit, premium unit wise, for Era Rover. But the great news about how she's designed is the fact that she seems to be Era Rover, but for every negative status team. She seems to be the shore keeper for negative status teams. And that to me seems to be a pretty good role to have, a pretty good role to play. Now negative status teams have like their dedicated limited five star support. Um, you feel less of a need to use Shorekeeper, right? Like this is a common team that she's or that Shorekeeper was used on, right? I don't think I think she's just probably going to be a little bit better than Shorekeeper over here, right? Everyone knows this team. We use SK. BB and then Zani, and this is the Zani hyper carry team. It might be better to have Chisa in here because of those crazy amounts of defense, ignore defense reduction buffs that you're gonna be able to have. Chisa might be in this one, right? Everyone already knows about the Arrow Rover team, right? Well, Arrow Rover might just be replaced by Chisa over here. Um, those are frankly actually the only two teams that Chisa's gonna be. I think used on in release. I, I assume Chisa might actually be used in this comp as well. Pretend Shorekeeper's Chisa. She might be used in this composition too. Uh, right? That's, that's like three teams on release. Uh, so maybe you're also going to be able to slot Chisa in on other teams where there aren't negative statuses going around. But I don't know if that's going to be a good recommendation for me on my end, because then you're not going to be able to, like, use any of her fucking outro skill. Yeah, her outro skill is not going to have any use case at all, and the only thing you'll be getting is her 12% defense ignore from via Havoc Bay if you don't have negative status suppliers and negative status damage dealers on your team. So, I hope we just understand that at a baseline. You might get a little bit less mileage out of her than you thought. Unless you want to build out more negative status teams. But from what we're seeing over here, it does look like negative statuses are going to be something um, that get fleshed out a lot more as time actually does go on. So I kind of view this as like a bit of a promise that yes, negative statuses will get support. This character will be useful, don't worry. It's, it's just she might not have a lot of teams on release. I think that's also going to be a fact as well. So, just something to keep in mind. Alright, that's going to be your outro skill. Now let's start taking a look at some inherent abilities. So, the first one's going to be Inescapable Fate. When a resident of the team defeats a target marked by Unseen Snare, the cooldown of Chisa's resident skill, Eye of Unraveling, is reset. That's like neat. I don't think it's that useful in practical situations though. This was essentially implied, implied that you would need to go back to her to like continually re-trigger the buff. I think that this is functionally one of the most useful inherent skills in the game, and it's basically only going to be used in the overworld. Um Yeah, I don't really I don't really think anyone takes use of like the stuff, the resident skills, regular skills resetting after an enemy's kill. It doesn't that doesn't really happen that often. You don't even really do that if we want. You'll just spend more time on your actual DPS on the team. Alright, now we're gonna have a holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, shit. That's crazy. Oh, my God. 
So be careful of that puppeteer, I guess. Huh? Getting the balls, getting some balls over here. I'm getting not in balls. <laughs> no balls for you? No balls for me, I'm just looking around. Bye.